His work is truly impressive and amazing. Zach created cinematic and creative videos that have earned him a large audience and lots of views. Today I am aiming to match his video style. His username is Sunugai. I am not sure how to pronounce it. I will include his Instagram and YouTube links in the description. Watch his amazing videos. Let me tell you where this video story began. Hi, my name is Rami and here I was thinking about what to post for this week on my YouTube channel. Suddenly, my phone opened Instagram and I saw videos that caught my attention. So now, I knew what I wanted to make, but I only had a few videos of myself in outdoor setting. So I searched and searched and searched and searched and searched. Fortunately, I found some videos. I wasn't sure that I could make a video like Zach with these videos, but I will try to make it easy and free for everyone. So I chose CapCut. So let's do it. I imported my videos into CapCut, and now I'm ready to challenge myself. The first thing is music. He uses very unique music. <laughs> Where does Zach find these musics? So I use the music from his video. If you can't find music, you can use sound effects, which might even be better. So I arranged my videos and made cuts based on music changes. After I finish that, it's time to adjust the video size. He mostly uses 4x3 aspect ratio. So in CapCut, change the ratio and resize your videos accordingly. Now I wanted to add sound effects, available in CapCut's audio section. Simply search for your desired sound effect or browse by category, then import it into your timeline. It's easy. Keep in mind that CapCut offers both copyrighted and non-copyrighted music and sound effects. Be cautious when using them on your channel, as you may not know their copyright status. So I added sound effects to my project. Let's watch it again. Now it's time to get the color. It was quite a journey to figure out how to achieve that signature look, so just follow along. However, remember that the effects you're adding may yield different results in your video. Apply the same filters, but adjust their intensity based on your video to achieve your desired result. My goal is not to copy him exactly, but I want to develop a style similar to his and create a dreamy world. I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer no exposure, I just wanna be a loner. Uh, some can't stay sober looking over all their shoulders. Like moving boulders. How to create the clone effect? You can use the mask technique to create the clone effect. But since I didn't plan to use my videos for this tutorial at that time, I can demonstrate the mask technique. But I can show you how you can easily can do it. Begin by setting up your camera on a tripod to maintain stability. Record a video of yourself while moving around and changing your position. Make sure you also capture a shot without yourself in the frame. In CapCut, take a screenshot of the background and import it. Cut the video where you are in the right position, then overlay the videos. Now using the mask tool, you can clone yourself. To create this type of text, I add a text in CapCut, then give it this font and make it bold and change its color. How to round corners. 
I know I mentioned CapCut earlier, but I couldn't find a way to run the corners of videos in it. If you know of another method in CapCut that can achieve this, please share it with me and the others in the comments. So I'll teach you how to do that in Premiere Pro. In Premiere Pro, you can find the rough and edges effect in the effect panel. Adjust the setting. Here's the final result. If you like someone else's video, I mean the style, color, or edit, you can write it in the comments and we can work on it together. And have a good day and have a good night. Subscribe for more.